Division two now in the Wapakoneta Redskin baseball team certainly feels at home at Bluffton's Memorial Field. Since the district tournament moved there in 2010, Wapak has been there each season and coming into today's title game against Bath own a 7-1 record in postseason games in Bluffton. Their lone loss came in the 2011 semifinals against the Bath Wildcats. Of course, today's game, the second meeting between the two this season with Wildcat the Wapakoneta winning a wild 2010 victory over the Wildcats during the regular season. Jason Brant's team leading Bath 2 nothing top of the fifth. Hunter Weiss outside of a two-run double to Nate Keck dealing on the hill. Strikes out Keaton Metz in the fifth. Home half of the fifth. Wildcats, Bats wake up. Man on for Eric Hafner. A little hit and run action. One of his two base hits on the game. Two on and that would end Cody Morgan's day on the hill. Wapak rooms in Chase Culver. Got the win on Thursday in the semis. Bronson Best lays down the best bunt. Dies right on the line. Bases loaded for Bath. Next batter is Eric Jordan. The senior unloads on the offering and unloads the bases. Deep drive to center. Tyler Starr scores from third. Hefner right behind him. And pinch runner Luke Nebel scores all the way from first as Bath takes the 3-2 lead on the big RBI double. Next batter, Colin Gossard. Another Bath senior delivering in the clutch. Grounder through the 5.5 hole. Pinch runner Hayden Atkins scores from second. And Bath takes a 4-2 lead. Top of the sixth now, Wapkinetta looking to answer. Adam Henderson leading things off with a single into left. That ends Weiss's day after five innings. Taryn Sullivan comes in from right with Henderson on second. Sullivan strikes out Culver. Go to the top of the seventh. Wapak still down by two. Bases loaded, just one out. Colin Gossard pitching. Quinn Lotridge lifts the fly ball on the left. It falls in. Runners had to wait to see, so Cody Morgan scores from third. Wapkinetta within ru one run. Next batter, Henderson. Slow roller to second. Best only play is to first. Met scores on the ground out. We are tied at four apiece. After an intentional walk to Chandler Keck, base is loaded for Culver. They call him Randy because of Randy Johnson. Culver can hit better than the big unit, however. Delivers in the clutch. Jarrett Cook is safe. Lotridge out of the plate, but Wapak is up 5-4. Bottom of the seventh, Bath not going away quietly. Two down. Jordan comes through again, singling into left field to the tying run on base for the Wildcats. But Culver strikes out Gossard. Wapak rallies for the 5-4 victory in the seventh. Their third straight district title. They're now 8 1 at Memorial Field. I'm sure that picture just might end up in Coach Brandt's office as Culver, the future Northern Kentucky Norseman, gets a little redemption after giving up the go ahead runs in the fifth. I, I was kind of thinking it was going to happen, to be honest with you. Uh, and I was just going to hit what they gave me. And, you know, I, I just went in there loose and just did what I had to do. I mean, coming in, we knew it was going to be a, a, a low scoring, close game because when you have two caliber teams um, with great pitching staffs, great defense, you, you couldn't ask for anything better in the district finals. Everybody knew last year and the year before that anything can happen. Two years ago, we made it down to the state. We didn't expect to do that. But uh, the move was high because what can you lose? I mean, the season's on the line. You got to lay it all out there. We just had to do, do what we did. It was the bottom of the order. Yeah. I, I saw it coming. Yeah. Just bottom about of the good. order yeah. came through for you to get in the bottom of the seventh. Yeah, you know, um, but you know what? I have confidence in those guys. They've done it all year long. Um, and then we had to take on because we knew Sullivan was a little bit wild in warm-ups, and we wanted to prove him to make him throw that. Um, but, you know, they came through, boom, boom, boom. And I, I, like I said, I've never been more proud of any team that I've ever coached. And, you know, that's saying a lot because we've had some great teams here. Well, this is just a great group. You know, we don't give up. Uh, you know, this is no die Redskins, you know, never say die Redskins. Uh, I love these guys. They, they battle through anything. I'm really proud of them. Yes, madam, mostly dry. Socks are still a little bit wet, that's why I've got the tie dyes on. Tiffin Region is all set. Wapkinetta will face Brian in the early game on Thursday as the Golden Bears hold off a defiance rally in the seventh inning tonight. Brian wins 6 5 in their district title game. Bottom half of the bracket has Sandusky Perkins taking on LaGrange Keystone title game Friday at 5 back at Tiffin. In other D2 action today, Bell Fountain rallies for the come from behind win over New Richmond as the Chieftains scored twice in the sixth to tie. They won it 4 2 on Drake Roebuck's two run RBI double in the seventh. Chieftains take on Jonathan Alder Thursday at 5 at Wright State. If they win, they're back in Fairborn Friday at 5 to take on the Tip City Monroe winner.